Hi guys. All right, so I'm gonna take a quick look at the new uh, speed hex flip out driver. So it's an eight volt max, also 7.2 volt uh, cordless lithium ion driver. Battery's built in, charges uh, right here. Has a trigger switch, has a direction uh, switch. So here when you wanna remove a screw, here when you wanna drive it. It has an LED uh, built into the head. And battery's over here, and you'll see why it doesn't draw from regular battery. Okay, so you have a little switch here. You can see the handle turns full 360 degrees. It doesn't lock full 360 degrees, or that it does, but it locks certain intervals. So you can't lock it wherever you want it. All right, and you have the two pivots here. This one controls this joint. And this one controls this one. I guess you get some creative angles. If you need to, you get almost flush. You can. If you need really tight right angle, you do that. Now, if you need to do some crazy maneuvering, around obstacles can so that's pretty neat in that respect it's a little I would say annoying to adjust first you gotta get this hard to reach little knob gotta pull that little lever out adjust that and you got to get both heads just right it's it it's not difficult just extra steps now the bit holder you pull out the sleeve Pop in the bit. Then use it, you're done. You gotta pull up the sleeve and then you'll pull out the bit. Not a big deal with hex when you have, let's say, Phillips. It's just a little harder. You gotta really get it, knock it out or just gotta grab it. This could also work with uh, bit holders. A uh, set comes with a bit holder and 18 bits. These are separate bits. Uh, so you could use those. You could use them with your standard bits as well. I don't think this is good for professional use, but for DIYer, I mean, it's good for like kitchen junk drawers, things like that. You could use it inline. I think most people use it inline or a right angle. Rarely will you need to just use it at different angles, but if you need to, I think it's convenient. I would like to see some more durable, kind of easy to use build, but I don't guess they couldn't do that at this kind of price point. Alright, thanks for watching. If you have any, any questions, let me know.